Okay, hi. Um, my name is Ajipola Apiodu, and I am an investment associate at um, Black Iron Capital. Uh, I think one of the major reasons why I signed up for the FMA course is because um, I'll say two things, right? The value as well as the financial incentive. So, you know, while I was looking at the value, I could see that there were a couple of things I could learn. So I saw the FMA Academy itself, which is about learning how to build a model, not just preparing for an exam. Then I saw the part where we'll be giving the access to, to write the FMI um, exam, which is the first stage as the AFM exam itself. So, and some other things like the, you know, the community, the Agile My community, as well as um, Excel Primer and other, other courses. And when I look at the value of those courses, they are worth about $2,000. And I could see that I could get it at a ridiculously, um, you know, incentivized amounts based on the African resident as well as or as the African student scholarship route. So when I saw that, I was really incentivized to 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 register for for the class. Well, in terms of my um, I would say my learning experience, I would say it has been great because I've been modeling for about three years now. But um, one thing I I've seen thus far is that when you go through the route of a structured learning approach, a lot of things that you get to learn along the way. There are a lot of things that you will unlearn as well as the things that you will learn as well. So, you know, um, one of the things that, that I learned, I usually hear about the fast standard, but I could see that the fast standard was captured, like in terms of the, it was captured in the teachings, right? So I could see where I, I, I usually would not, you know, use the fast standard prior to now. So other things I learned were that in terms of maybe say, um, the printer setting. So before now, I, I don't know how to, you know, uh, make my model printable because, um, you know, there could be some executives that would like to, you know, um, get the model documents printed as a PDF version. So I learned that during the, the FMA uh, um, course, I learned, uh, you know, the cash flow sweep and the revolver, you know, what happens in your model when you have, when you don't have enough cash to cover your operation. So, and how can you do it in such a way that it is well automated? So I learned those things, right? A couple of things as well as secular references. So uh, my le learning experience was was great. I, I I really learned a lot. Um, I think the next thing is in terms of my expectation if it were met. So, like I mentioned earlier, I've been modeling for three years, and one of the things I was expecting was that okay, by the time I'm done with this with this modeling um um course. I'll be able to take the FMI exam confidently and I'll be able to build the model in with the best standard. And I'll say both of my expectations were met. So I could model you know, efficiently now. I could, in terms of my time, right, I could do it in, you know, in 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 hours, minimum hours. And in terms of the kind of standard, right? My model, now I'm proud when I see my model, like I can share with someone with the confidence that. I did a very good work here. So thanks to the um, Dave Brand Consulting team for that. Then finally to my exam, I'll say my exam, you know, when people ask me about my exam for the AFM exam, it was great. And I, I'll say it was great because I prepared well. So one of the things I that helped me is that there is an accountability of in the FMA course, and there was someone I had like a, as a personal accountability partner, and we we practiced um, two weeks before the exam. We were practicing every day, taking different case studies and practicing. So most of the some of the case studies were given to us from the Brown Consulting Team, and I think that really helped us. The mock exam as well we took was really an eye opener, and because of the fact that we practiced a lot, it helped us to reduce the number of hours we used and spend it in writing the model during the exam period. So for my exam, for example, I, I finished my, my exam in about two hours. I was scared that I was too fast and I needed to just go back and see, okay, hope I didn't make mistakes. And at the end of the day, I submitted within two hours, 51 minutes. So I would say my exam was great, uh, but it was great because of the resources that was provided by the debound team, as well as the level of practice and the level, level of dedication I put into it. So I would say this, um, that would be my, uh, experience as far as the exam is concerned. Thank you.